So we're doing very well. We can create messages like we've done here and display them in our manage page. Obviously we can go and create new ones here if we want to make the type. The problem right now is that we haven't uh, created the function to actually display the messages at the top of the page, for example. So let's do that. And what we need to do for that is to build out our before footer hook. So we will display a notification, but we're going to dynamically insert the type and the message here depending on what's in the database. So let's start with doing global DB. And we're always going to need that to interact with the database. But messages equals DB get records. Oops. Local message. Just like that for now. Of course, we're going to want to check the other table if we've already read the message, but let's just do this for now. And uh, we might just do a for each just to see what happens as message add a notification I mean this might get a bit ridiculous if we have so many notifications at once but let's see message message text and now yeah the the warning will not be matching up exactly, will it? Because we're just going to get a number out here. Let's just see exactly what our data looks like when we do this. So I'm just going to turn on debugging. It's super useful, by the way, to get debugging working if you're going to do proper Moodle development. Get a development environment where you can really dig into your data and see the code as it executes. It's one of the big advantages of using something like PHP is because it's scripted, it's kind of very easy to follow along like this. Anyway, so I'm going to put a breakpoint there. And this should happen on every page. So the before footer happens, of course, here, but also on the dashboard. I'll just refresh here. And let's see. We get four messages. And message type 3 so for example our first message we get message text that's fine we can display that if our message type is 3 we have to match that to a a output type here so there's probably a better way to do this but I just want to do this now let's just do I'm gonna start closing this stuff up here as well um, yeah, this is how it's going to match up, right? So let's maybe copy this into, and we want to do something like type equals, uh, info, but if message message type equals zero then do type warning just do something like this I can't think of anything else right now there's must be a more elegant way to do this message message type equals one type success and two is error because just to double check message yeah it's a string like that that's why I'm doing the triple equals to match the type um, you know and the value that should handle our cases if it can't find it it'll default back to info which I think is probably the best default anyway so Let's get rid of this. And let's do that. Probably better would be to put in, yeah, I mean, probably better to put this actually in there like this. 
Let's do that. I think that's better. Uh, that was warning. That was error. Uh, this one was success, I think. This one was info. Cool. Let's just check that. Was that right? One is success. One, oh yeah, this is wrong. This should be a warning. Okay. Yeah, this is a bit ugly, but um, that's fine. You know, I'm just trying to show you what, how to do, uh, how to kind of read the data in. So I'm sure we can all figure out a better way to do that in the future. Um, that's pretty cool. Now we've got a dynamic message showing up and we got many dynamic messages for as many as is in the local message table. So let's look at this. That's pretty cool. You see how we have all these messages showing up and they have different colors as well. So let's look at test two and three should be warning. And if we look in the message table, test two and three, well, they're the same message type, number two, number two, Oh, error. Error is the red one. Yeah, so there, error. And hello, hello, that should be warning. Number zero. Yeah, number zero. Yeah, so this is looking pretty good. Um, we can see our messages.